food processing centers across America are burning somehow across the entire nation from Bozeman, Montana to Nebraska to Wisconsin, all over the entire nation. These facilities, meat processing facilities, things of that nature, Kellogg's company are catching fire or exploding from 2021 all the way up until now, two events within April, two events minimum, cattle rescued after fire destroyed a meat market. That was April 13th, 2022. It says this is the second time that the East Conway beef and pork has burned for some odd reason. I'll put up this picture on the video here of these different articles showing how many different events have happened across the nation in the past year and from last year just does not add up and then we have shanghai shut down for some strange virus or <laughs> for some strange variant that's happening for some reason only there because the rest of the world is fixated on what's going on with the war uh, with the war but shanghai they can implement that with their communist rule and their totalitarian tyrannical government can put in can put actions in place to lock down again over some mythical variant that's probably going on, most likely mythical. So we've got Shanghai, largest port in the world, with empty containers, not sending much out, very little trucks, very little movement within that massive city. And then we've got fires across America. We've got all these different reasons. We've got Ukraine not putting out the amounts of of supplies that they're putting out before, where it's reported that they were the largest producers of certain certain foods, such as, I believe, what was it, wheat, and I believe some like sunflower oil or something like that. But a strange concurrence of events going on, leading, of course, to prices shooting through the roof again, or, and they will continue to, as we move towards the biblical prophecy of a day's wages for a loaf of bread. I mean, <laughs> clear clear biblical prophecy moving straight to that direction and to throw in the mix something that everybody's heard by now but just pretty strange when you think about all these events going on taking place bill gates in 2021 became the largest owner of farmland in amount in america now owning 242,000 acres of farmland two percent of the entire the, the total land in the united states so food processing facilities being shut down we've got the constant gmo has been going on for years bill gates who says we should only eat lab grown meat now buying up farmland for some odd reason and some guy who what uh, used to work on computers now pushing jabs and owning farmland and telling us what kind of meat we should eat a lot of strange concurrences adding up here you know, we don't know the exact time. We don't know when Jesus will return. Jesus said in the in the Bible that it'll he'll come back in an unexpected time. So to just sit back and not do anything and not to get prepared for events coming up is just not wise. Especially, you know, most people who watch my channel probably live in America. There's a healthy deal deer population across all of America. It's a lot of food. Just Get one deer a year and you can even, you know, freeze dry it or whatever and that'll last a long time. But these people, you know, that this is what they push and then they say things like, you know, you'll own nothing and be happy and we need to eat bugs to save the earth. It's just pretty strange how it's all adding up and it all works together just like everything always has and always does. So I just want to make a quick video on this. Pretty strange, all these different concurrences going on. We'll see prices going up because of this. I mean, they're blaming everything on the war and on, on the virus. And it's just going to continue to be that way forever till the next thing comes. That's just how they work. I mean, they always have a boogeyman. They're always pushing some scare tactic. And, you know, the narrative and the mindset of the people is just controlled completely by what is pushed through the news. So I think it's smart to, with any extra resources, you know, prepare, get ready, stock up on stuff because at the very least you'll be saving money because these things are going to continue to go on and prices will continue to rise through these different varying events all, all converging together. So wanted to point this out. Thanks for watching and God bless.